Hi, I want to go ahead and continue reading our book, which is The Magic Tree House, number three. And the story is Mummies in the Morning by Mary Pope Osborne. I'm ready, reading today chapter two. And the name of this chapter is, oh man, mummies. Okay, let's find out what happens. Jack and Annie looked out the window. The tree house was perched, that means sitting, on the top of a palm tree. If you go, um, go to Florida, you'll see palm trees there. Okay, the tree stood with the other palm trees, the patch of green surrounded by a sandy desert. Meow. Jack and Annie looked down. The black cat was sitting at the base, that means the bottom of the tree. His yellow eyes were staring up at Jack and Annie. Hi, Annie shouted. Shh, said Jack. Someone might hear you. In the middle of the de in the middle of the desert, said Annie. The black cat stood and began walking around the tree. Come back, Annie called. She leaned out the window to see where the cat was going. Oh, wow, she said. Look, Jack. Jack leaned forward and looked down. The cat was running away from the palm trees toward a giant pyramid in the desert. A parade was going toward the pyramid, the same parade as in the Egypt book. Okay, so this is an example of a palm tree. Okay, that's what it looks like. And you'll see the people walking and you will see over here, I'm gonna try to get it, you see the pyramid, all right? It's the picture from the book, said Jack. What are those people doing? Asked Annie. Jack looked down at the Egypt book. He read the words under the picture. When a royal person died, a grand funeral procession took place. Family, servants, and mourners followed the coffin. The coffin was called a sarcophagus. That's a hard word. It was pulled on a sled by four oxen. It's an Egyptian funeral, said Jack. The box is called a sar... Uh, sar uh, uh, sorry. Oh, oh, forget it. He looked out the window again. Oxen, sled, Egyptians, black cat, all were moving in a slow, dreamy way. I'd better make some notes about this, said Jack. He reached into his backpack and pulled out his notebook. Jack always kept notes. Wait, said Jack, and he wrote. Coffin called sarcophagus. We'd better hurry, said Annie, if we want to see the mummy. She started down the rope ladder. Jack looked up from his notebook. Mummy, he said. There's probably a mummy in that gold box, Annie called up. We're, we're in ancient Egypt, remember? Jack loved mummies. He put down his pencil. Goodbye, Jack, called Annie. Wait, Jack called. Mummies, Annie shouted. Oh, man, said Jack weakly. Mummies, she sure knew how to get him. Jack shoved his notebook and the Egypt book into his pack. Then he started down the ladder. When he got to the ground, he and Annie took off across the sand. But as they ran, to stra a strange thing happened. The closer they got to the parade, the harder it was to see it. Then suddenly it was gone. The strange parade had disappeared, vanished, but the great stone pyramid was still there, towering above them. Panting, Jack looked around. What had happened? Where were the people? The oxen, the gold box, the cat. They're gone, said Annie. Where did they go, said Jack. Maybe they were ghosts said Annie. Don't be silly. There's no such thing as ghosts, said Jack. It must have been a mirage. A what? Mirage. It happens in the desert all the time, said Jack. It looks like something's there, 
but it just turns out to be the sunlight reflecting through heat. How could sunlight look like people, a mummy box, and a bunch of cows, said Annie. Jack frowned. Ghost, she said. No way, said Jack. Look, Annie pointed to the pyramid. Near the base, remember that's the bottom, was the sleek black cat. He was standing there, standing alone. He was staring at Jack and Annie. So in your head, what's the cat have to do with anything? What does that symbolize in the stories usually? Because like in the first story, we had, I believe it was the pterodon that flew. The second one, we had the knight and the horse. So what's the cat have to do with anything? Mm, what does he want him to do? He's no mirage, said Annie. The cat started to slink away. He walked along the base of the pyramid and slid around a corner. Where's he going, said Jack. Let's find out, said Annie. They dashed around the corner just in time to see the cat disappear through a hole in the pyramid. Mm. So we were able to find out they're going into the pyramid. I'm sorry, my face is itching a little bit. And so now we're ready for chapter three, which is going to be, it's alive. So I want you to predict, what is this one going to be about? What's this chapter? Because it's alive. My question would be, what is alive? What do you think is going to be alive? All right, we'll find out.